Hello to everyone and welcome to all in Apelli community. Welcome to a new point of view, our digital show edition online that is starting today, Friday 17 of July. And today we are talking about our brand spot life. And we have a very special guest, which is Click in the person of Simona. Welcome, Simona. Thank you. Thank you, Orietta, for introducing me. My name is Simona Vuvoli, and I work for a company called Click. Click is a leading Italian company. Uh, which designs and manufactures metal accessories. Oh, interesting, Simona. So you are talking about Click today, and you're also talking about a very interesting topic, so which is art and technologies. I think it's really interesting to explain to all of our community that might be happen and many of them know you already because they met you in New York in a previous time but today they will meet you online so now are you showing us all the different typology of click exactly um, uh, I would like to show you a little bit the industries that we serve uh, because we are not uh, working only for the leather goods industry which is uh, our main uh, industry for which we provide uh, closures, uh, handles, frames for bags uh, and small leather goods like wallets. But we also work for other industries, uh, for example, the footwear industry um, for which we provide ornaments and components for shoes, uh, so boots, sandals, whatever. We also work for the clothing industry, um, providing uh, also components and uh, ornaments for clothes, uh, coats, uh, trousers, uh, like uh, studs, uh, um, like rings, uh, adjusters, so whatever is uh, made of metal. Uh, we have um, also part in the jewelry industry for which we uh, design custom-made ornaments and uh, jewelry like uh, bracelets, uh, necklaces, uh, earrings and uh, all, uh, all kinds of customized uh, uh, ornament. Um, in small part we also uh, work with uh, in the furnishing industry providing for example name plates uh, and branded uh, uh, branded plates for sofas and chairs and in small part also for the automotive industry uh, providing merchandising so mainly key rings and keychains uh, also customized for for our brands interesting they so uh, can I just back a little bit because it's interesting to know that you use uh, uh, the metal detail for furnishing, for instance, I didn't know this part. So how this works? This means that in this picture I can see there are some metallic elements just hanged in a apple tree, uh, yeah. sofa or something like that. How did you start to work in this kind of field? Um, uh, during um, looking at the internet, uh, customer look for um, companies providing metal accessories, and we started uh, providing customized, uh, making customized projects uh, because we can start from the idea of uh, of our customer and produce any kind of uh, metal accessories. So it can be used on any field, any sector, any. Uh, any area of life, uh, whatever it is, for ornaments. Uh, so you can use it for furnishing, but also for the automotive, uh, for yeah. clothing, where to, it's um, up to the idea and the, the, that our customer has in mind. So, so it's very interesting. So I think now we, you will go more further in the detail, but I like it to underline this part because you are, uh, known already for some specific topics as we can see 
but the creativity has no boundaries. So you can also enter in things that you didn't you knew before. You great. Right. Right. We always learn something new and we, we specialize in uh, every time in different things, uh, depending also on the customer's needs. Okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> We are also very proud to say that our manufacture, our production is entirely made in Italy. So from the first uh, uh, raw material sourcing uh, through all the manufacturing stages of production up to the final coatings, uh, or the final look of the, of the product, so all the hardware is manufactured and designed in our um, factory, which is located near Bologna. This mm -hmm. enables us to provide high quality standards and uh, attention to detail. Uh, here you can see uh, general like uh, um, the main categories of the accessories we, we design and produce. As I said before, all kinds of uh, metal hardware for the leather goods like frames, handles, locks, uh, chains, buckles for belts, uh, but also metal parts for clothing, for shoes uh, and whatever is made of metal mainly. Um, the, the main materials we use uh, are brass, uh, zinc alloy, which is also called the zamac, stainless steel, copper, iron, and aluminum. Apart from these, we can also combine metals with other different materials uh, like plexiglass and resin. So we can combine different solutions to give, uh, uh, to, to create unique products. Uh, among all the materials we use, we would like to focus uh, a little bit on, uh, on a very innovative material that we uh, started uh, using just recently, and it's the stainless steel. Um, we started using it because of the uh, increasing demand, increasing demand from our customers, but we soon discovered uh, its um, performance. It's, it's very high quality and it has important uh, um, important properties uh, the, the main the main one the more the most common one is the resistance to oxidation it is very important talking with leather, leather goods in particular so can i can i jump inside of your uh, introduction so what does it mean resistant to oxidation for example for a pair of shoes or for a garment so can you explain me a little bit uh, the, the main problem of uh, um, leather goods in general is the fact that it, uh, it can tarnish, it can uh, oxidize over time because of the contact of the leather with metal and of course the chemical uh, agents. Uh, stainless steel has this uh, uh, very known property uh, of um, avoiding oxidation because of its uh, chemical uh, of chemical components so it has it creates like a sort of uh, uh, layer in, uh, on top which protects um, also over time it's very very resistant another important aspect of stainless steel is that it's 100 percent recyclable this is a very important point nowadays we we are we focus also on, in these aspects, uh, it's very important to, to think also of, of this quality. And it's also long lasting uh, because uh, the composition of the metal is very strong, uh, is very resistant uh, to shocks and so on. So it, we, we recommend it, uh, for example, for the high end the luxury markets, uh, it's very, very uh, performant. And, not, last but not least, it's also luxury look. It, it's very good looking because it has a very smooth surface uh, without uh, impurities, with no roughness. So it's very, it's very good. It doesn't uh, show any, any imperfections. So you mean that in this case, using steel, stainless steel, you can have also precise finishing. So you have less problem in achieving the right quality of your client and of the designer. That's and it's very interesting to know some of the elements that we already know before, but after COVID, long lasting is really one of the top 
elements that many brands are looking for and even the concept of recyclable so which is something again that it's designer are looking for because to their consumer they want to go they want to give something which is valuable exactly. so did, you see, did you see an increasing of demand of this kind of product after COVID? yes yes definitely uh, people are more and more looking for sustainable uh, materials for environment friendly uh, solutions and uh, um, in this regard, uh, we, we are also very um, focused in the finding new solutions uh, to, to offer our customers, of course, uh, um, a, good, a good product, but also because we care about environment and uh, it's a very, very important topic uh, to, to focus on. So uh, for, for this reason, we use uh, some, um, we use uh, some materials which are ecological in a certain way because, for example, we use ecological brass, uh, which has a very low content of lead, 90 parts per million, rather than the standard brass, which has like 600 parts per million. Um, we can use also recycled Zamac, 100% recycled. In this way, we have the green economy and we help uh, the waste reduction is another important aspect to, to consider nowadays. And apart from the material, the metals, the material itself, we also use a uh, PVD coating regarding the, the, the finishing. We also PVD coating, which is uh, like a green alternative to the most common electroplating. PVD is a new technique, it's more innovative and it has a very low release of a chemical uh, material, of toxic uh, material. So it's the, the demand is increasing also in this sense, and we 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 started using it, um, and we we are improving every day in in this direction. This is great because this, this I knew that you already started this kind of research a few years ago. So this means that now you also tested. You already have the result of the final product that was already been used by your client. So this means that now you have other step that you want to do. Exactly. We more and more uh, in, uh, deep in, uh, in, the, in this uh, research and we can also give certification of, uh, uh, of this kind of recycled materials of uh, the origin of, of the metals. We can give a certification of the ecological brass, of the content of lead inside the metal. So we can, can really offer different solutions uh, depending on, on the customer's needs. Okay, and so I want to, I don't want to interrupt you, but sometimes I like to ask you, do you want to answer to some of the questions that our participants are getting to us? Sure, yes, of course. Because I have uh, one of the attendees that is asking if style and steel offer in, also in a gold finishing. Yeah, of course. Uh, another important aspect, thank you for the question, because I forgot to tell you that stainless steel <laughs> can be used either with or without the plating. So since it's a very good material in itself, it, you can also decide to use it as it is. If not, we can cover it with a PVD coating so any color is possible. So um, silver, uh, gold, uh, gunmetal, whatever, whatever you like. And this gives an extra protection, but, uh, and of course a different visual effect, but you can decide. Yeah, so we can, also we can combine the two elements, the visual, the aesthetic, and also the quality. quality. Uh, that's perfect. So, and I have another one, which is very, it's perfect for the, the, the slide that we are now looking. So your brass, use ecological finishing it's something that you use for everything or designer has to request it so you have just for some product and some not um we can use it on any for any kind of production but it, it's always better to ask before because 
uh, we, we use both kinds because customers has different, have different needs in terms of uh, uh, quality, in terms of uh, uh, pricing as well. So we offer different solutions. On request, of course, we can do a ecological brass on any kind of project you have. Um, since we, we work for different in the industries, you can maybe maybe it's not required for some other application of, of these metals. So sometimes uh, yes, it's, it's not required, but you try you try to put to all of the products you have it. So you were mentioned about price. So someone asked if uh, how does the price of style and steel products are compared to brass? So do you have some differences? We cannot compare because it depends mostly on the design of the of the product itself. So we must um, we must like, review the, the project and uh, direct the, the customer into the best option in terms of uh, quality, in terms of uh, um, also pricing. So we, we always uh, try to follow the customer in the best value for money solution. It, it always depends on, on what the, the project uh, involves. So it's hard to tell you which is more or less uh, what is what is more 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 expensive it always depends on the on the design okay and, and i have another one so i like it to answer because we have so many questions but i don't know if you have this kind of uh, uh, information which is the material most biodegradable in a short time so did you never measure the timing of the biodegradability of uh, one of these materials? Uh, this is a very technical <laughs> request. Uh, honestly, I should check with the, my technical team, which is more expert than me. Um, what I can say that is that uh, stainless steel being 100% recyclable, it never is never wasted. So from a product, you can uh, uh, work it again and make new bars and work it again and again forever. So this is a very good point. Uh, if, uh, if someone has a more detailed um, request, I can, I can check with the technical team and I will, uh, I will for sure give a... You can answer by email as well, but it's interesting to know because maybe there are some elements of things that designer would like to know and then can be improved. Thank you so much. So we can, we can go home. <laughs> Thank you. So um, another important aspect that I would like to talk about is uh, the possibility uh, for Click to create exclusive projects and uh, to offer tailor-made solutions to our customers. So even though we have a very wide collection of uh, existing items that you can choose from, um, if you can, if you want, you can register on the website and you will see all our collection, all our hardware. Um, but the main focus is uh, the, the creation of uh, um, unique projects and tailor-made um, projects. So from the very first concept to the design, from the development to the, the prototyping stage, and from the production to the final industrialization of the item, we can turn your ideas into real because we start from your rough idea you have in mind, even if there's nothing physical existing, and we, we follow you into all the stages of the development to create your, uh, your unique item. And the first stage uh, of this process is the creation of a 3D project. So, we have uh, uh, innovative 3D design softwares and uh, digital sculptor software as well that can um, help the customer have a, a first idea of what, of how the final uh, item will look like. So we can, our, our technical team is, uh, is able to create uh, a, first, a first idea with these uh, projects. Once the technical project 
the 3D project is approved, we can then uh, start the second stage of the development, uh, which is the, the creation of a real physical prototype, which can be made either of brass or resin, depending on the customer needs and also on the construction of the item itself. So we have uh, uh, innovative machineries, we have uh, 3D printers um, that can create these prototypes made of resin. In this way, the customer can, have, uh, can review the design and improve it if needed uh, before starting the production. So it's uh, reducing costs and also um, uh, quality, um, sorry, uh, for, for the timings, it's very, um, it's very important because you reduce the time for production and you have a first idea. Yes, yeah, so now I really, I'm really curious because you know that uh, we are also having during this week uh, several forums and really yesterday we were talking about crafting digital manufacturing. So this really, it's a reality. So you are showing us something that designer can design their pieces, you can print it out in a 3D printing and then they can modeling, they can come up with several ideas. So this means it's something that you want to invest more or it's something that you are just started. How, how is the reaction with the designer, this kind of specific point? We started using these technologies uh, a few months ago. So we are just starting, let's say, but um we um we saw the uh the improvement of all the process thanks to these technologies because it really helped us to um to ha to have everything faster and to so if you have an idea uh, you just have to send me uh send us your sketch we make the technical project in a very short time and then the machine can create a first object in, uh, let's say, uh, one night or some, some hours of, uh, and so the, the day after you can have your real sample in hand and uh, see it. And starting from there, you can change and test it and improve it. So it's very uh, important for also for designers to see in real something that otherwise is very difficult to, to imagine before production, before uh, having finished the, the, the real the total process. Interesting. We, we knew that it's something that it's growing and growing because uh, the request is uh, higher also to do small uh, numbers of pieces and test it. Interesting. We can uh, produce small, small quantities. Uh, and, and also, uh, it's, it's very important that it, um, at level of cost, if, uh, uh, um, for example, a metal uh, prototype can cost 10, uh, this one costs one. So it's a totally different um, approach. So we can, and we can change it every time you want. So it's very, very easy. Great. And, Another important aspect of customization for us is the possibility to, um, apart from the, the, the object itself, uh, the possibility to create different visual effects. So uh, regarding the finishings and the coatings, uh, um, we offer countless possibilities also for, for what concerns the finishings. Um, we, we, we work with the standard electroplating uh, to give the shiny nickel, shiny silver, um, uh, shiny gold effects, but we also offer more uh, unusual and uh, special solutions. Uh, like you can see here, um, we work with, uh, as I said before, the PVD coating, but also we offer um, colored lacquer coating solutions uh, like the one you see here on the right. You, we can do any color just um, based on the Pantone references. So we can, we can do any, any kind of color. Uh, and we also use enamel uh, to create artistic effects. So uh, they are all made by hand. 
Uh, for example, on this chain here, you see a very special effect of Dynamo that creates like a net. We can also create like a sort of ceramic effect. It seems real ceramic, but uh, it is zinc alloy with a enamel coating on top. And in this case as well, we can do any kind of color. So it's important because it's every idea can be can be offered. Any any idea can be can turn into something real. We just have to 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 create right, together you need to apply and to combine i see that you, you also have several other elements that you can add so the designer can choose and that can combine and mix them together but you can combine materials you can combine finishings we also offer these kinds of uh, special finishings and uh, um, effects like the glittering one uh, the flocked one, which is like a velvet, velvet-like effect, uh, uh, like a peach and effect. The holo holographic, uh, uh, it's like a rainbow color. So we really have very, very wide range of uh, solutions. And you can, as you, as you said before, we, we can combine different materials and uh, put inserts uh, with stones, uh, with crystals. For example, here you see uh, a jewel made, a brooch made with uh, Swarovski crystals uh, and the buckles made with Swarovski. Here there's a uh, clock with an insert of plexiglass. And so there's no limit <laughs> to, to creativity. So I have a question. Someone is asking, do you have finishings like parties that can be like a finishing? C can you repeat? Because the, the yes, yes, we have a very unique request, which is, do you have finishing smelling like perfumes? Wow, no, but maybe <laughs> we can <laughs> we can think about it. <laughs> Good. Right. It's a good uh, idea to <laughs> where to invest. <laughs> and but we have a, another very innovative technique, which is uh, uh, digital UV printing. Thanks to very technological, innovative machinery, we can print UV print. Uh, on any kind of material, flat material mainly, uh, any kind of pattern, any kind of design. So as you can see here, there's a piece of leather that we UV printed with a, a flower design and it was also flocked on top. The red parts are flocked, so are velvet-like. So you can really create any kind of texture, any kind of pattern. And we can also create different layers, like uh, having an embossing effect at the end, uh, a glossy one, a mixture of uh, matte and shiny, so we can really um, any, any kind of solution. It all, all just depends on uh, what you have in mind. Yeah. Here, for example, you see a buckle, golden buckle, which is then printed with a flower, flower pattern our design and here you can see uh, what I explained. So the same design can be uh, put both on leather and on metal. So it will be exactly the same design with the same colors uh, and, uh, and whatever. So we have very, so, very wide range. Yeah, so I, I jump inside, I have a question. So what about if you have stats? So the design designer provide you the letter that they are using and then they choose a design of the studs, maybe the pyramid or different thickness. What about when you have to digital print in this? Do you have any example? Yeah, I have one here, as you can see. Okay, it's just a rough example that we made some tests on. So as you can see, we can print any kind of color, also the, the, the grading one, I don't know the English name for it, like the, the fading, so that goes from a color to another one, yes, both on, on leather, but also on metallic elements like studs. So if you pleat a little bit, we can see also the relief. 
uh, is interesting to see. If you take it, you'll sample. Yes. We can yes. also go. Oh, yes. Of course, the the um, the surface has to be uh, has, doesn't have to be too much high because the machine has a certain uh, uh, limit due to the the, the UV uh, laser, the, the UV um, printing. <laughs> I don't know technically how to explain it, but yeah, we we can also do like things in uh, applicated on leather, so. You can both decide to to have one or to send us your letter already uh, with the inserts, with the studs and so on, and we do it all together. So there are different solutions. Very interesting. Also in this case, because it's one of the trends right now to work in different reliefs and also combining the different materials. So. I have other questions here. We have a very few minutes again. So uh, someone is asking if you have some specific typology of finishing a letter that you can print better. So are you providing the quality of the finishing letter or are you talking directly with the tanneries and then you taste with the tanneries? Uh, how do you have to prepare the letter? So we can print on any kind of leather, but the quality depends on the leather. So if it's synthetic or um, cow leather or any other kind of, we have to make a test before every time because each we are not specialized in leather. So um, we don't know how leather will react in, in the over time. So if you send, if the customer sends the letter, we can do the test. We can also provide testing in uh, um, special laboratories that give this kind of certifications and see how the letter reacts uh, with the with the ink with the with the UV printing. But it, it always depends on the on the kind of, of leather, on the quality of leather, on the chemical treatments that it has undergone. So there are many aspects to consider, but we, we can see everything together in the process, stage by stage. Okay, very interesting. Now I'm uh, directly answering to some of the requests. So for the most technical question, I'm saying that you will answer uh, one by one by email, because I think we can, you can provide more technical details. Sure. So do you have anything to add? Again, so uh, you want to... I, I just wanted to uh, to say that the strength of Click, as you have seen before, is the possibility to create a very unique product, combining uh, art, uh, handcraft expertise, technological innovation, and also creativity, which is a big part of uh, of the work. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, and I love so much your Oscar Wilde uh, text. Uh, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. So I think this is your mantra, is a clique mantra, isn't it? Uh, exactly. That's what I say. So, yeah. Let me thank you so much for your interesting uh, talk. And I'm sure that all the participants received several points. It was interesting that you focus in the sustainability, but also in this kind of open range of creativity, so freedom to creativity. I welcome all of the participants and our community to a new point of view, physical event, next September 22, 23rd. So I'm sure CLIC will be there physically or anyone can physically come to Italy. You are welcome, more than welcome. Otherwise, Zoom presentation will be in streaming. Thank you very much, Simona. Thank you. Thank you for, for this uh, opportunity and thank you everyone for listening today. I look forward to meeting you in a person. Grazie. Thank you very much. Me as well. I'm looking forward to see you very soon. <laughs> Ciao. Bye-bye to all of you. Bye-bye.